Never before have I been so glad that I didn't listen to my friends. I'm prepared this time. American Hustle is directed by David O. Russell and stars Christian Bale, Bradley Cooper, Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner and Jennifer Lawrence. Bang. Excuse me, I'm going to do this over and over again. I can actually just look at the blurry. And as I said in the introduction, I didn't, I didn't listen to my friends. My friends went to see this film, absolutely hated it. Uh, I never got to see it for reasons. <laughs> uh, they told me it was terrible and that basically they were like my saviour. They never took me to see it. <laughs> um, but anyway, I noticed a um, shop um, for £8 and I decided to buy it for some reason because I still wanted to see it. I didn't 100% believe them it was bad. I'd heard good reviews, I'd heard bad reviews, so... And... This film was amazing. <laughs> I absolutely loved this film. Um, the acting in it is fantastic. Um, Christian Bale... Anyone who has watched a Christian Bale film can easily say that this guy is an actor. He just pushes himself. This The weight that his character has is all his own weight. He gained that for this role. That's fantastic. I mean, he switches around everything. He goes from the machinist to completely skinny to the fact in which he was passing out to Batman, which is like, I have no idea, like, generally the real Hulk. I don't know how he done this. Well, I do know how he done it, but it, it's amazing to watch uh, how, how he can transform his body and stuff like that. And the fact that he is offered makeup and everything and does it himself is brilliant. And he just immerses himself in his role. I hadn't, I, there was points in which I even forgot this was Christian Bale. And this is one of the things that I can really compliment this film about. The characters are so real. Honestly, like, who's it? Like, I've forgotten who's in it already. Jennifer Lawrence. I, I forget that there's Jennifer Lawrence. She, she just immerses, all, the, all of them really immerse themselves into the character. And they don't, none of, I don't, didn't have any problems with it. it was, it was genuinely, they all just immersed themselves into the characters. I never at one point thought, oh that's Jeremy Renner, that's definitely Jeremy Renner. Maybe the first time I saw it, but then as soon as the characters start speaking, and it, they just begin acting, it just, boom! It's like it's gone, it's like, who are you? I forgot who you are, you're this character now. Um, despite the fact that I can't really remember many of the character names, it's mainly, I don't know why I can't remember the character names, I've probably watched it, and, and I don't know. I can't remember the character names. Um, and the writing in this film is just fantastic. Everything just flows perfectly. It feels so realistic. I, I mean, everything. There's, it says like some of this is based off of a true story. Which, honestly, I don't know why they would start off with saying some of that. I don't know why they just say based on a true story and say that some of this actually happened. I think that was mainly because David Russell's one. Original! But, oh, <laughs> I don't care. I love this film. This film... It, Everything, like I said, everything's realistic. I had trouble like figuring out. It's not like one of these typical Hollywood ones in which you can figure out, like, okay, that's uh, a cliche, so that really didn't happen. That didn't happen. At no point did I think that's not gonna happen. It feels so realistic, and that is amazing for them to actually be able to do this. Um, it feels like the time era. Like, it switches around from. It's like the same. In the 70s and 80s, I think. The late 70s, early 80s. Fantastic era. I love, I love that sort of era. Everything just about it works. And the fact is, we've got one of these sort of heists. And, and we've got a con film with the mob and everything like that. There's no violence. And uh, this is not me being, oh, I hate violence, violence, violence. One of my favourite films is actually Kick Ass. So. And Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. But. It managed to use violence, it didn't have violence, and it's still, it, it keeps you engaged. Like, I'm not saying all violence is needed to keep me engaged, but the fact is, it's all to do with the dialogue. If you're instant, if you get bored, if there's not a single bit of violence or anything, you're just going to walk out. You're not going to enjoy this film at all. But this film, the way that it's written is the best part. The writing, it, it's like you go and see this for the writing. And the thing is, it has like this sort of humour uh, at points, and the humour just works, it feels really natural, it's not like one of these moments in which they're just like, and this happens, and wait for, cue the audience laughing, uh, wait for them, okay now let's go on and talk about relevant stuff. It's not like a comedy, it just, it, everything just feels so natural, and, and the chances are I probably missed important bits of dialogue 
through laughing and stuff. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, a lot of people probably would contend that it's a bad thing that they're having a joke just before they have important dialogue. But for this, it, how realistic it feels. You're not going to sit there and wait for someone to like stop laughing or something. There's no, there's no invisible audience that follows them around. They're not aware of this invisible audience. They're, they're just normal. It, it works so well. Um, and Robert De Niro came in for a bit. That was fantastic. That his scene blew me away. It was just so damn intense. Barely anything was actually said in that scene, but it was really intense. And I, 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 I love this film. This, I've only watched this once, and it's already just blown me away. I, I, the more I think about it, the more I really like it. And that is something really good. Um, the time worked perfectly. The way it ended, I thought, was amazing. Uh, it just it flips everything around what's been happening through, and it's not like one of these simple Hollywood gloss over like happiness, happiness. There is dark shit that happens at the end, and uh, that's amazing. Like I said, I am blown away about this film. This film has amazed me. I honestly can't say anything bad about this. I'm trying to say something bad about this because I don't like just going all positive. I need to give you some negatives. All I can say is, it's it's focused on the um, script. Which, by the way, if you don't like scripts or anything like that, you might not like this film. If you're not interested in dialogue, I really doubt if you're going to like this film. But the dialogue, I found, was so fantastic. And it flowed perfectly. I honestly cannot see any problems with this film. This film is just... Woo. I swear, if you guys like anything like with a good script or anything, doesn't, just watch this film. Um, there, there will be people that say it's terrible and I, I, I can understand where you're coming from at points, sort of. I can, I can sort of understand why people might not like it and I can understand, I really <laughs> obviously understand why people love it. And... I'm so glad that I bought it, okay? Um, and I'm going to give this a uh, 9 out of 10. I can't give it a 10 out of 10 mainly because... Actually, screw it. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. This film is fantastic. Um, so as always, remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I feel like asking you a question. What is your favourite David O. Russell film? So, like, Fighter or... Silver Lines or anything like that. Mine's probably The Fighter. I, it's my first film that I saw of him and I, I just fell in love with it. It's such a great film. Really inspiring. Everything like that.